Good evening, everybody. System Chalk here with the 68th episode of Ike Opscribe, the Apostle Obstinate. So in the previous episodes, we were able to get through uh, some of our expeditions. We've currently been rebuilding, but fortunately, we've also gotten past a couple of rather troubling um, developments as far as fascination and dread are concerned. So because we have this freedom now, uh, we're not going to have to worry too much about notoriety until we start going on expeditions, and it's going to be a chance for me to sort of uh, build up my, my funds. We're going to be taking some time to read the books that we have. I'm going to also be using that time to try and pursue more secret histories, ideally ones that I can get to even higher levels with so that we can hopefully unlock a few little secrets that will make it easier to go through the peacock's door. <clears throat> when I have to, it would be nice to do some commissions because Bronze Bentreya are going to allow me to fix the Wildering Mirror. And then uh, eventually, once we've sort of got ourselves to a good enough position, usually this tends to be around the time that I um, I don't have any more uh, books to check out. We'll summon a couple of, uh, of creatures, <clears throat> we'll start going on more expeditions, and that will mean that we shut down our, our time at Glover and Glover for a bit. So that we can start pursuing some of our um, our uh, you know our our real goals, but in this in this mean, in the meantime right now this is a nice opportunity for me to just accumulate a lot of things and because we don't have any threats so far as um, you know visions or uh, or despair uh, it's going to be an opportunity for us to to really go through some of the harder books. So right now we're doing a commission I believe. Now I'm trying to remember if there was anything I wanted to do with my talk verb. Um, not offhand, so I think I'm going to leave that be. And then the question would be, is there anything I want to do with the Explorer? And uh, not really. There will be once I upgrade the lore, um, but for the time being, I'm going to have to leave it be. So we'll just unpause and keep things keep things going along. <clears throat> I do need to worry a little bit about the, um, the health, um, but uh, to be honest, I don't really think there's... I don't really think there's a good option there except to just spend the money. I'm making so much at Glover and Glover that it probably it feels like more of a drawback to uh, to go and work at the at the you know at, at the uh, the work site <clears throat> to get the vitality. Okay, so no evidence against me. We'll just wait for the time to pass, and we should be good. Sorry, I also I'm I'm sort of. I'm taking my victory lap on the um, on the emotions a little a little more quickly. There is this dread on the table, but unless we have a season of despair coming up. Oh, interesting. Oh no, but it, uh, 59 two, 59 three. You know what? It's possible that this will actually get picked up um, in time. So maybe I might want to take a visit to the Ecdysis Club after Glover and Glover just to be sure. <clears throat> That's, that's really mean of the game, actually. Uh, okay. Challenge intuition. This is a puzzle with missing pieces. I might find those pieces in the odd corners of scholarship. So we won't go to the Ecdysis Club until after we're done at Glover and Glover, simply because I can't afford to have that notoriety spike me at the, at the wrong time. And then I am also probably going to need to think a little bit about what I do with the blood. I'll probably just sell it at Oriflames, but uh, as always, we'll 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 take the we'll we'll take our options when we can. Uh, this is almost certainly not for yes, Madame Bichet. Well, that's what I wanted to use the talk verb for to get a commission from Doctor Adim. I should have uh, handed it in with Madame Bichet before, but there. There you have it. All right. I'm safe for now. My adversary has not enough evidence to bring a case against me, and they found no new clues. Okay, so the air is curled now. I'm home in this lump in flesh. Better, perhaps. So fleeting reminiscence if we do run into any situations where I would need the um, to get rid of fascination. As it is, I... I'm just trying to think. Do I want to wait for the... No, I think we can go... I think we can go through the peacock door. Dr. Adim would like secret histories. And then let's have a chat with Count Jennings again. I should have talked with Madame Bichet, but I've already did it once, so I might as well. Might as well commit. I'm trying to remember how long it takes me to go to the Ecdysis Club. Let's say, let's hope it's 40. It might be 30. 
The entrance is lost beneath the soft drapes of cinnamon, crimson, cinnabar, and intercardinine. Above the door, the club motto, Ingi rum imis nocte et consumi merigniri. It has been rendered as, into the night circle we fly until the fire enjoys us. The wreath announces the master of ceremonies. A dancer undulates on the stage, unfolding her arms, like live moths spill in a stream from her mouth. All right, so we get a buzzing in the brain for that, which will turn into restlessness, I believe. So that's a bit inconvenient for me, if I'm completely honest, but... There it is. Is that it? You have resolved an intuition challenge. Oh, but we did get contentment, so unfortunately I did lock myself out of the dream slot, so I think I, I, think I wound up with a buzzing in the brain uh, and nothing to really show for it. White moths eddy through the hall. They perch on the brims of wine glasses and sip. The audience applauds. The woman on the stage moves as if she has too many limbs. Moths crowd my arms, nestle against my shoulder. In a little while, I'll step outside and look at the clear, cold stars. Assume that I dreamt the whole thing. The smokes of the club are treacherous. All right. Um... Yeah, so I should probably figure out... Let, in this case, let's go to the auction house. Uh, and again, I don't want to participate in this auction, but we will use the Delightful Blood. Our Delight's Blood is uh, is a payment towards a certain special goods for particular connoisseurs. Everything must be just right for the vitulation. Oh, interesting. So it didn't actually get picked up. This illness has damaged my health. I'll need rest before I'm fully recovered. Cure your affliction with vitality. All right. So moving up, uh, another season of suspicion. So it would have been particularly bad if the uh, Ignisus Club had gotten raided while um, while I was in there, because that would have been all cost. But we avoided it. Right, I review tidy columns of figures in my tidy fifth, five, tidy fifth floor room. From my office window, I can see the river. My secretary brings me a hot drink every 59 minutes. The river is the color of rain. Okay, so I guess the question is, do I want to do more commissions or do I want to try something else? Um, I guess in this case, probably the commissions are where I want to go with this. So let's... Grab the lore, a couple of reasons for our troubles, and then we will finally turn this in with Madame Bichet again. I should have done this a lot earlier, but... Okay, now if I want, I can go for the unresolved ambiguity. Uh, if I wanted to try and upgrade the... Um, the other secret histories I have, I could try and go deeper to the Red Church and the Peacock Door, but I do actually benefit from unresolved ambiguities still, so let's go and take that. Last night I opened the Peacock Door, and beyond it, the bright spaces of the house I met in the bright spaces of the house I met a pilgrim adept. I am almost ready, they said, to pass the summit of the house, to prepare for the final ascent. Perhaps you'll join me. I will need allies to fight for my place. Here's a story to help you rise. So, there's an unresolved ambiguity. Uh, in the Mansus, the hours strive one against the other. As the struggles are resolved, they iron out the impossible, exalt the possible, tie the fraying braids of what has been into one golden ribbon of the future. Everything is resolved. History becomes past. There are, however, exceptions. Okay. So, what I can... Oh, looks like we're all ready to go. So, I've received the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. So... There's some mystique. Uh, the erudition is noteworthy. If I can get some glimmering, so much the better. Unfortunately, I don't have any other commissions to turn in. Um, that's mystique's going to get picked up by the um, mystique's going to get picked up by the um, sorry by the uh, the season of suspicion. So we can't really use that for painting. Um, but we can heal ourselves. The medicine is dark and bitter as tar. It would be easy to suspect I am being poisoned. And because we have broken the Wildering Mirror, let's have a chat with Tristan. We can begin to repair this, but it will take at least a Bronze Pentrea to purchase the necessary materials. Okay, so I'm 
out of the auction. Oh, that's really funny. I had a vitality that I was completely ignoring. I didn't need to spend the money. I was just not paying attention. The auction is over. The lot has gone elsewhere and I retained my funds. So let's take that unresolved ambiguity. Oh, hang on. I, I wasn't thinking. Um, this is the Rending Mountain. Oh, sorry, the Rending Mountains. We actually don't need anything else from the Rending Mountains. But that's still not bad because I'm going to have another unresolved ambiguity before uh, before too long. So while it's nice to have a nice big column of uh, of special special locations, um, okay, no, we're fine. I am, however, going to explore with the Vagabond's map. The river, wrote the sage Mac in the Book of the Centipede, runs through the sands out of myth into legend. This is the place the centipede was born, they say. The sands of which Mech wrote hide the perilous curiosities. I've increased my knowledge of the secret histories behind the ones we know. All right. So I can try and advance these. I guess the question would become, do I want to spend all of my time upgrading this lore or do I want to start reading, um, you know, reading these books? Because in 22 seconds, the season of despair is going to pass. So I think we're, we're in a good place to read the Ivory book. So the manual of the Order of Le Mans, a quasi of, uh, sorry, an order of quasi immortals who maintained a secret enclave at the source of the river Limia in the Roman province of Hispania Gallicaea. This manual was compiled by one Curanai, who claims to have fled the tyranny of the Chrysanthemum throne to cross the world and join the Ordo. Members of the Ordo took an oath, the ivory chain, not to have commerce with the Hours. Followed literally, this would be almost impossible for an adept, so the manual contains numerous clarifications, exceptions, and processes of indulgence. So I want to keep an eye on this because I'm probably going to need to paint relatively soon. So there's the restlessness in 60 seconds. I suspect, though, I'm going to have trouble at work, so I might need to find another way to get rid of that restlessness or just accept that it's going to turn into dread and deal with that later. So we've got a season of visions coming up. So that's not going to work. Well, I should also do the. Um, I should also uh, sell off the delightful blood because I can't really afford the extra dread now. All right, my follower needs a bronze pentrea in order to complete their task. We have found the Temple of the Seven Coils, a crumbling temple in a shadowed defile. It was built, it seems, in the third history, the one where much later the worms overran Europe, but it exists in all histories now. Okay, so that is our first location in the, <clears throat> sorry, uh, the Lone and Level Sands. So these are going to be a little tricky to find because I need to either get them directly from the uh, the peacock door, which takes a while to sort of repair the spintrea, or I need to get it through upgrading the unresolved ambiguities. So my expectations are not to have a lot of these, and we're probably going to do expeditions before we're probably going to do expeditions before they, um, you know, before we get all of these. But there is a little bit of a pattern that I like to I like to run with to try and make this. Not exactly efficient, but just try and make this a little little less, um, I guess, grindy. So what I generally do is I will read these books when I can. And then when there's a risk to one of my, you know, my, my despair or visions, then the study verb transforms into something where I upgrade uh, secret histories. And then when the threats are gone, then we start going back to reading some of the scary books again. And what happens is over time, I wind up with a few extra uh, secret histories than I would have normally. And then on top of that, I work through my books and then we have just a nice little stack. The reason why I build these big stacks like this is I don't currently have a rival who will take them away from me. And on top of that, uh, when I do summon the creatures, uh, the creatures will be, uh, will like, they'll be always occupied with these expeditions. So it's a little bit easier to just summon what you want once 
put them on a bunch of expeditions as long as you have the money for it and then and then carry on and that's kind of been the way i've played the game for a very long time even if it's not the good way of playing it uh, I, i'm just so used to it that it's kind of my default okay so let's go back to oriflames to get rid of the delightful blood because i'd rather not have uh rather not have dread and then there's nothing saying i can't be going through more doors so let's go through the stag door. The stag door is the adept's gate. To pass, it. to pass it is to be initiated into the first true mystery, the house of the sun. The head gearby weeps to see me enter where it cannot, but it must let me pass. The scarred valves of the door grind open. Kuranai describes the order's burial rites, which include spells to ensure, in theory, that the souls of the dead long are not given to the hours. The hour called the ivory dove, who memorializes and commemorates, is to be invoked in secret in these rites, for with that hour we have made an understanding. So, another invocation of the Ivory Dove, and the Sunset Rate, which we've had for a while. So, because it's unique, it just vanishes from the table. Now, we do have a season of Visions coming up, so I might be a little worried. Some of these I don't exactly remember. Um, I think as a precaution, I'm going to translate a few of these. I'm, I'm a little bit less worried by something like the Gospel of Zacchaeus. Uh, but it seems just as easy to me to do a little bit of translation just to get past the season of visions, and then we can um, we can move on. It's basically an action we're going to take anyway, so this is just a nice little way of of smoothing over a transition. Our mirror is repaired. It shines again like it did once before. So here we'll turn in the commission with. Jannings. It's very unlikely that we're going to get um, a glimmering to be able to upgrade the secret histories, but if I do get a glimmering, I will take the opportunity. All right, the auction is over. The lot's gone elsewhere. I retain my funds. So if we don't have a okay season of despair coming up, so I do now need to deal with the dread. Uh, seems to me the best option is to go to the Dices Club again. Drinks, the songs, the light, the arching walls, the smoke blue haze, the press and sway of clothed and unclothed flesh. So we've got only contentment. And I received the currency of the secret world, and my patrons let tantalizing information slip. So no glimmering to show for it. We will do a commission uh, immediately after. The tidy columns. We've heard heard me talk about them for a bit, so we'll, we'll leave that aside. And looks like it's just a simple commission on secret history, so it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, now, is there anything I want to talk to anybody about? So the Wildering Mirror is where it needs to be. Um, I purchased pleasures, I reel home in the ungodly hours and collapse into bed. Okay, so in 10 seconds I'm going to want to combine the Dread and Contentment. Uh, Explore-wise, I think we're okay. I also didn't explain, um, so sometimes the descriptions do change when you translate them. Uh, season of Visions. You know what? I'm going to risk the Painted River here, uh, simply because I have a Dread, which I can use to annihilate it. All right, lesson learned. These are actually kind of helpful because if I, it gives me a longer a longer period of time to have them sort of sitting in my, my um, on my desktop. And that means that I might be able to, I might be able to use them in, in a, uh, in another, Another upgrade. The Painted River runs from a great chamber in the white, uh, near the white door, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, far through the Mansus to its far edge where it enters a painted delta of far cloud. I voyaged its half its length last night with a stern-faced captain beneath a rust-red sail. As the clothes rouse, rose before us, the sailors raised a yearning shanty and close-hauled the sails to best use the painted wind. And all the while, the captain and I discoursed of the secrets of the House of the Sun. I know this is one. I tend to go to the stag door a lot, so the stag door writings tend to be ones that people get very familiar with. But um, I have always said, and I do mean it, that you can get a lot out of uh, Cultus Simulator by basically running into and, and reading its texts uh, a few times over. There's definitely a few little secrets and a few little details uh, that jump in and out. It also occurred to me it was pretty reckless to go to the Painted River um, simply because uh, had I gotten the fascination it would have been picked up by the by the verb um, and the dread would have been taken away uh, because or actually maybe it would have been picked up in time but it would have there would have been a bit of a race between the dread and the fascination to pick up the other but 
didn't cost me anything, so I'm I'm safe. Uh, do I want to do anything with Explorer right now? No. Hmm. Okay, um, I wasn't quite... Oh, okay, now it's working. Um, but we are at the end of our time. Um, so with that in mind, in the future episodes, we are going to kind of continue along the same way. I'm going to do my best to try and get through the uh, the works. I will start the next video by reading a description of the 26 Enticements, 7 Torments, because sometimes the translations uh, change in between. But it's probably better to do that at the start. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying the series, uh, I do always appreciate the likes. Uh, I do also read the comments, so thank you for that. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, it would definitely help me out to get the word out. If you want to know when my videos come live, there is a little notification bell that you can hit. Otherwise, uh, for those of you who are just here for Cultist Simulator, those tend to come up at 6.30 on Wednesdays and Fridays. So until Friday, I hope you have a good evening and we'll see you later.